الحمد لله الحمد لله العلي القدير السميع البصير الواحد الأحد الفرد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد نحمده سبحانه وتعالى نعمه وفضله وأسأله الفوز والمغفرة ونجاة من النار وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له شهادة تنجك أيها من النار وأشهد أن محمدا عبد رسوله الذي أدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وتركها على محدة البيضاء يقول الله عز وجل وهو أصدق القائلين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال جل من قائل يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فرزا عظيما أما بعد we give praise and we give thanks to Allah سبحانه وتعالى we praise him and we seek his mercy and his forgiveness and his guidance for he whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides there is none who can mislead them and he whom he leads astray there is none who can guide them we bear witness and testify that there is none worthy to be worshipped but Allah he is alone and he has no associate or partner and bear witness and testify that Muhammad ibn Abdullah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his messenger sent as a mercy in the guide of mankind. My dear believing brothers and sisters, I enjoy a new one of myself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has enjoined on us both that we should serve him and that we should strive our utmost to fulfill our duty and obligations to him as believers in him and that we should not let death meet us except that we are among those who have surrendered and submitted ourselves to him in this deen of submission. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Hajj Surah 22 Ayah 41 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions a truth about believers. He mentions a truth about believers. He says, "Aladina in Makkana who fell out, a come of Salah, were at the Zakat, were Amaru bin Maruf, were now an El Munker, will a lady after the Tul Umur. Aladina does in Makkana who fell out. Those who, when we give them tamkeen, we give them stability and establishment in the land, a calm of salah. They establish salah. They establish salah. Wa atu zakah. And they pay the zakah. Wa amaru bil ma'roof. And they enjoy all that is good. Wa nahu an al and they will prohibit all that is bad. And to Allah belongs the outcome of all affairs. This truth that Allah SWT mentions concerning the believers, those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this statement, while it was directed or in the context of the Muhajireen and the Sahaba. It was in their context for them. It was directly related as if they who were being fought by the Quraysh and the others and who were driven from their homes. It was directly related to them. 
But there is a principle, general principle that we take from it that is applied to all. And this principle comes from the point that Allah says, Makkana yumakinu tamki. Tamki means that to, to, to establish someone or establish someone and give them authority, to give them a, a, a place of, of honor, to grant them a place of honor and, 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 and status. One that where they, are, uh, they can function without fear. This is tamki. And Allah SWT says concerning these believers that when Allah gave them tamkeen in the land, when Allah makkannahum fil out, established them in the land, that means He gives them a place of status and position and authority so they do not have to, they are not afraid. Allah SWT says what the first thing they do is establish salah. A palm of salah. They establish salah. He mentioned a number of duties that they believe these believers do. He says they establish salah, a qama salah. Because establishment of salah is a very important principle that Allah emphasizes. Throughout the Quran, Allah SWT talks about ikamati salah. He never says salli salah. He says ikama salah. Salli salah means pray, make your prayer. But a kama salah means you establish and you don't establish something by doing it once or twice. You don't establish something by doing it really nearly. You don't establish something by just doing it when you want. You establish it by following set rules and principles over an extended period of time. Following set rules and principles over a set period of time. This is how you make an establishment. In Allah SWT says, you establish salah. You establish salah. And so Allah SWT mentions that the first thing they do, they establish salah. وَأَتُوا zakah, And أَتُوا zakah. Salah is personal development. Salah is personal connection. And zakah is community development. Community relations. So, the, the, the personal growth and the community growth is connected. Salah and zakat. This is why Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when the, the, after the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and those people, uh, Bedouins, decided, I am not going to, I used to pay uh, the zakat to, 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 to Muhammad, but he's dead. So we're not paying any more zakat. And Abu Bakr, against the advice of Omar and, Abu, and everyone else. Abu Bakr says, I will fight anyone who seek to create a, a difference or try to separate between Salah and Zakah after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has joined them together. And so, this is the Hurub al when, when Abu Bakr had to go and fight those people to make sure that they do not break Zakat out from the tenets of Islam and understand that this is one of the fundament, fundament, one of the fundamentals of deen. They established the pay the zakat. Wa amaru bil ma'roof. They enjoin all that is good. Wa nahu anil munka. And they prohibit all that is bad. So these four fundamental principles that Allah SWT established, that the believers Whenever Allah grant them some stability in the land, they will establish them. Whenever they are granted stability in the land, they will establish them. And Allah SWT mentioned the final principle that every Muslim is, is, lives by and every Muslim knows and understands that all matters rest in the hands of Allah. All matters rest in the hands of Allah. So we don't worry about what goes on and what people say and what people do and because Allah is the one who is always in control of everything. We know that. And so we live by this principle. That is the principle by which we live that Allah SWT is the overall in control of things. 
Okay, so this is what is established, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established in these principles for us. And so this ayah, as you mentioned, while the context is that of, of the Muhajirin and the Ansar, I mean, and the, the Sahaba, that general principle applies. That general principle applies. That any time that Muslims, any time believers, a group of believers, is settled in a given area, that they should establish these principles. It is their duty, this is part of their duty, to establish those principles. The first duty is to establish Salah. And so we see Rasulullah when he migrates, he stops first at Kuba. That was the first major stop that he spent a few days there before he came to Medina. And he stopped at Kuba. And the first thing he did at Kuba, where they had a group of Muslims, a community of Muslims living, he established a masjid. So the first masjid that Rasulullah established was not Masjid al Nabawi, it was Masjid Kuba. And to this day, Rasulullah tells that anyone who makes, who goes to Kuba and makes two rakats of salah, that Allah SWT rewards them, give them the reward of performing Umrah. That's how blessed this masjid is. Allah referred to this masjid as uh, Masjid al Ussisa al Taqwa. The masjid that was established from top on Taqwa on the fear God fearingness, when only young from the first day established on the faces of fearing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of God fearingness. That is Masjid Kuba. And so when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa came to Medina, and he came to Medina, and he settled in Medina because the groundwork was already established and the believers had tamkeen in Medina. Rasulullah, they were just waiting for Rasulullah to come. Once Rasulullah came, Rasulullah then says, okay, well, let's let me build a house. Where are we going to live? Where am I going to put my family? Rasulullah didn't worry about that. The first institution that Rasulullah did when he came to Medina was to build the masjid. For more than a year, Rasulullah, 18 months, Rasulullah lives in the house of somebody else. Abu Ayyub al Ansari, he lives in his house. He lives in somebody's house. For more than a year, he lives in somebody's house. The first institution he establishes the masjid. Why? Because the masjid is where we establish salah. The word masjid itself comes from the salah. Because the word masjid, Ism according, according to Arabic uh, 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 grammar structure, masjid is Ism al makan. It is the name of the place of an action. And the action that is done is sajd. So the place of sajd is called masjid. Just like the place of tabakh, the place of cooking is called matbakh. Or the place of ta'am where you eat is called a, 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 a restaurant. Mat'am. Ismail Bakan. So masjid, to establish this, make it an institution. Rasulullah institutionalize the salah by establishing the masjid. So when Muslims gather in any area, wherever we are, we in this country, we have the opportunity to do so, we have tamki. So wherever we are as a community, we should establish a masjid first. And then we establish the other institutions to bring good, to establish the good, and to forbid the evil, and to do the other good things that are required. But first, we must establish salah. Because this is the fundamental basis, because the masjid is the mihwar. The masjid is the mihwar. It is the, it is the, the axis is the axis around which the community revolve. It is the axis around which the community revolve. And so we, you, 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 to, to, you want to build a community, you start with the masjid, and so then you get the community functioning. Just like we have the Kaaba and we have the Ummah going around the Kaaba. It's an axis. And this is important. 
that Muslims, whoever, and we do so without fear or lack for anyone. We don't worry about anyone, even people who object. We don't worry. Why? Lillahi akibatul umur. Allah is the one control the results of everything. Allah is in charge. And so we do so in establish. Because the true Muslim, in reality, the true Muslim is like a seed. The true believer is like a seed that has all the potential for growth. It's like a seed that has all the potential for growth and development. And all that seed needs is the right environment and the right conditions and it will begin to sprout and grow and do what it what is what is destined to do. The believer, however, the believer, because of his or her latent ability or capacity for growth, because of their iman, the conditions and environment do not adversely affect. The conditions and the environment do not adversely affect their potential growth and output. So wherever they are, they function. The believer, wherever he is, wherever he or she is, a function. We see Yusuf, for example of this, we see Yusuf, Yusuf Ali Salatu Wasalam. He is in the prison. Of course, he's wrongfully imprisoned, but there he is in the prison, and he's giving da'wah. He's doing his job. He's inviting people to Islam. He's giving his da'wah in the prison. This is where he is, and he's giving da'wah. He's doing his job. He's doing what he's supposed to. That is what the believer does. Wherever they are, they function. And this is where we're supposed to do that. May Allah want to make it easy for us. May Allah forgive us. May Allah keep us in the ship. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا من سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مدل له وما يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد ولا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد رسول أما بعض ما يبلي في بعض أنصار الإسلام it's important and we congratulate this community for establishing this masjid in this area because this is the duty of the Muslims. It is the duty of the Muslims. Allah SWT says this, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ لَذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ Those who are responsible for imarat al-masjid, for establishing the masjid. And imara not just only means that you build a building, but it means that you make that building come alive by involving in, uh, in salah and doing what you need to do in that building to make it a living building. It's not just the building because the masjid is where you put the sajda. And if there's no sajda being put in, if you're not making salah in it, then it is not really a masjid, it is just a building. Because masjid is Isma al Makan, is the name of the place that you put your prayer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enjoin on us that we are stuck. So the masjid is in most is very important. This is the first and important institution that you should work towards establishing it. You establish it, make it as an institution. And we see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he establishing this. The, the, the masjid, and that masjid became the center. All the institutions that uh, came to, 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 to work function in the society and to maintain the society and so on, all of them came out of the masjid. All of them came out of the masjid. The masjid was the first school. It was the first college. It was the first university. This is where they learn. This is where Rasulullah taught the believers. It was 
the center where the believers got together and brotherhood was fostered and sisterhood was fostered. This is where they gathered to discuss the affairs of the community. This is where they gathered to discuss their affairs, things that affect them, so that when any matter comes up, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would let Bilal call the people to the masjid and the people come to the masjid and they will discuss this affair. This is where they discuss the battle of, of, of Uhud. This is where they get together and discuss all the other affairs in the masjid. This was the place where the, those who, who had uh, uh, faced with challenge and diff they came. So we had one section in the masjid, at the back one section of the masjid which called where those people who didn't have any place to live, who didn't have any family, and they had no place to live, that they would come there and this is where they would sleep. Ashab al Sufa. Abu Khuayr who was one of those people of Ashab al Sufa. And we know of who, who Abu Khuayr was. And he was part of Ashab al Sufa. So the masjid provided facilities, all these. This was where people have need and they come and they ask Rasulullah. Rasulullah provided me for them. If they had a question, this is where come. This is where he met delegation. This is where the message was used for everything. And it was not until the time of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu that Umar started to create the other institutions out of them, take them out of the message and expand them as it's established in society. And so this is a good start. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your brothers and sisters. Amen. May Allah bless this community. Amen. May Allah bless this masjid. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause it to grow and make this a vibrant community. Amen. One that is representative of Islam. Amen. One that reflects the values of Islam. Amen. One that reflects the community of Islam. Amen. One that can influence the wider society. And one that represents us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Muslimin. <laughs> وفي الآخر أحسن وكيل ذا بناء وكم الصلاة إن الصلاة الحالة فعشاء يوم